If you gave me a wish list of lots of other things that we could have for the drugs, these are great things to have. First of all is reversibility. And I'm sure you've heard a lot about the opiate crisis. We have a drug called Narcan or naloxalone. If someone has an opioid overdose, if you give Narcan, it will bump those opioids off the receptors and bring that patient essentially back to life. So the ability for the drug to be reversible is really important when it comes to safety. Not all drugs are. Now predictable, I want to know when I give this drug to patient A or to patient B, I'm going to have relatively the same effect. Next one is no adverse effects. Well, that would be wonderful, but that really doesn't exist. All drugs have some negative effects, and so you want to minimize those, but we're never going to get reach the no adverse effects level. No interactions. When you take two medications, you, you have the potential to have an interaction. And when drugs start working together, they can either impact and significantly increase the action of the drug, or they could diminish the action of the drug. And finally, we want it to be cheap and simple. Now, if you think this drug exists, that's all three of those things, safe, selective, and predictable, plus reversible, no adverse effects, no interaction, and cheap and simple, it simply doesn't exist. We try for those things. It's a wish list and we get as close as we can, but many drugs can't meet all of these criteria.